Hey there guys, it's Amit and welcome back to DevDreamer. So as promised then, in this lesson, we're going to take a look at the difference between margin and padding. As you can see here, we've got our friends Woody and Buzz, and this is what we're going to be recreating. So we can see we've got an image here, we've got some spacing in between these images and their titles. Um, there's also spacing within the titles as well. As you can see, they've got a background color and they've got some spacing inside there as well. Okay, and this has all been done with margin and padding. So we're going to take a look at how to do this in this lesson. So let's go to our solid CSS file and let's clear all this out. Okay. And let's begin. Okay, we can actually get rid of this title as well. We don't need this. And that's fine. Okay. The first thing, of course, we need to do is we need to minimize these huge images here. Okay, so we're going to go into here and we'll say image. And we're just going to say width of 200 pixels. Okay, and that's better. We can now see what we're working with. So, as you can see, then our images and our titles need some spacing. They're squashed up right into the corner of our page. Let's just take a look at the HTML that we've got in place for this. So, we have an image with an alt tag of Woody, um, and very quickly, the alt tag is basically in place so that if this wasn't displaying properly, then it just shows you an alt or alternate title there. So, that's Woody. We have a H2 with an ID of Woody and text of Sheriff Woody. And then it's just the same for Buzz. We have an image and H2 of Buzz Lightyear. Okay, so let's now get to work on styling this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add a background color to our titles. So here, let's specifically target our first title by doing ID Woody. And we'll give this a background color of orange. Okay. Let's just copy this for Buzz. Change the ID to Buzz, and for Buzz, we're going to give him a specific color. We're going to use the hex code, and we'll look at colors a bit later on in this series. So for him, we're going to say hashtag 9DCB6F. Okay, so now then, we want to increase the spacing inside of our elements here, because our title is right up against the edge here. We want to get some spacing there. Well, what should we use? First of all, let's select our H2. Should it be margin or should it be padding? Well, seeing as though we want to increase the spacing inside of our element, what we need to use is padding, and specifically padding left, because we want to increase the space inside the element on the left, right here and right here. So we're going to say padding left of 30 pixels, okay? And that's increased the spacing inside of our element. Let's say also we want to increase the space and separate this section from this section. So we need some space in between really this title and this image. Well, what we can do on our H2 is we can say margin bottom of 50 pixels. And what this has done is it's given us a 50 pixel spacing outside or 50 pixel margin outside of our element. Okay, this was the element. We said 50 pixels for margin bottom. And so we have a 50 pixel spacing here. There's also one here as well. Okay, so it's starting to take some shape. Let's continue. Let's now look at sorting the images out. So first of all, our images are right up to the left of our page here. So we want to change that. And so that's going to be margin because it's space outside of our element. And it's going to be specifically margin left. And we'll say 30 pixels as well. So that it lines up with our text. And finally also, let's say that we wanted to increase the spacing between the bottom of our image and this title. So here we can say margin bottom on the image. And we can say 10 pixel spacing there. Now here's a little tip for our images. Depending on the display and the positioning of our elements, uh, both of which we'll take a look at a bit later on in this series, we can actually center align our images perfectly. So if we got rid of this, and we gave this a display of block, we can say margin, and we're going to specify our margin with two declarations. Okay, so pixel, pixel. For the first, we're going to say zero pixels because we want zero on top and bottom. In fact, no, let's put some spacing on there. Let's say 20 pixels. And for the second, which is the left and right margin, we're actually going to change this to auto. And what this does, as you can see, is it gives us equal spacing either side. When we specify auto and a top and bottom margin of 20 pixels, so 20 pixels here and 20 pixels there. So that looks a lot better. And as promised, we will take a look at positioning and display and all that good stuff a bit later on in this series. So now you guys should be masters of margin and padding. You should know the difference between the two and when to use padding and when to use margin. And don't forget, padding inside, 
margin outside. So as always, I hope you found that useful. Please like and subscribe. Go ahead and try this out for yourself as well. Get practicing and I'll see you on the next one.